So this is chapter 6, video 3. It's on the percent equation, and it goes with section 6.4. So be sure to check out these pages if you're looking for a few more examples or more practice. So in this section, um, instead of using the percent proportion, now we're going to use the percent equation, which is a different version, a different way of solving the same problems. Um, again, to find the part, the whole, and the percent in any kind of percent problem. So this is your percent proportion that we used in the last section. Part over whole equals percent out of 100. We're going to kind of move things around and turn that into the percent equation. First thing to do is to think of this percent instead of a whole number out of 100. When I have a percent divided by 100, I could just write this as a decimal. So if I think of my percent as a decimal, that's how we're going to use it in the equation. And then, like we learned in chapter 3, if I do the same thing to both sides, it stays equal. So what we're actually going to do is multiply it by the whole over here on the left, and multiply this by the whole on the right. Since I did the same thing on both sides, it stays equal. The whole and the whole cancel out on the left. So if I rewrite it, I get the part is equal to um, the percent written as a decimal multiplied by the whole. So that's just showing you how we get it, but here is a better way to write it down. Okay, In symbols, you're going to write this. A equals P times W. A is the part, just like before. P is the percent, but now it's written as a decimal, and W is still the whole. Or in words, the part equals the percent times the whole. But you have to tell me that that percent is written as a decimal now. So let's do a couple examples. Okay, the first one says what percent of 35 is 28? So let's think back to the same clues we had before for figuring out what's what. They obviously ask me for the percent, means I'm looking for the P. Of is my clue again that this is the whole or the total, so that would be W. And then is 28, that would be the part. We use A for the part. So if I set up my equation, start with the equation first, A equals P times W. A, plug everything into the right spot. The part is 28. The percent, I don't know, so it's still a W. And then the whole is 35. And I solve it just like any equation that we did in chapter 3. Get P by itself. So divide by 35. I get 0.8, but since this is a percent, I have to translate that decimal back into a percent. So move it over two places, and I get 80%. So 30, uh, sorry, 28 is 80% of 35. Okay, number two. What number is 28% of 50? Well, what number? Looks like I'm looking for the part. 28% is obviously the percent of Here's my clue that that's going to be my whole or my total. So let's work this one out. Again, start with your equation. You must write this down on your paper first. Then plug things in where they go. A, I don't know, so it's still an A. P, percent, written as a decimal, 0.28. Change it to a decimal. Of 50, so times 50. Here the variable's already by itself, so I just have to do 0.28 times 50. Oops, and I did that wrong. But I get A is equal to 14. So 14 is 28% of 50. Okay, last one. 160 of what number is 144? Well, 160, got to be the percent. Of what number, means I don't know the whole or the total, is 144? That's got to be my part. So it looks like I'm looking for W. So write out your equation. Now plug things in where they go. Make sure you write your percent as a decimal. So I'm going to move it over two places. Um, I don't know the whole, so that's still W. And 144 is the part. Okay. Whoop. Ah, sorry. Let's move that down. So get W by itself, divide by 1.6 on both sides, and 
I get 90. Okay, so that's a quick example, one of each. So what if they're a little bit more complicated and they're word problems or story problems? So in each one, we'll read them and then figure out what's A, what's P, what's W, and how to set it up. It says in science, you score 80% on a test. There were 55 questions. How many did you get right? Okay, I want you to read each one and label the A, the P, and the W. And then we'll set up the equations together and solve them. But at least read and label where's the part, the percent, and the whole. So I've labeled each part. In number one, it looks like I know the percent and I know the whole. I am looking for how many I got right. I'm looking for the part. In number two, I know the part I got. I know the total number of questions. I'm looking for the percent. And then in number three, I know the percent. I know how many I got, my part. I'm looking for what it was out of, of telling me I'm looking for the whole. Okay, so now set it up. Remember, every time, write down A equals P times W, then plug things in where they go and solve for whatever's missing. So pause and actually work and get the answers now. So in number one, my work should look like that. I don't have to solve for A, it's already by itself, so I just do this math, and I got 44 questions, right? Make sure in any story problem that you have a label or units on your answer. Number two, um, I was solving for the percent. So when I solved this, I actually got, um, it would look like this. In the equation, don't leave your answer as a decimal. This is a little bit confusing. Whenever you solve for the percent in this problem, turn it into a percent with a percent sign. So you got to move the decimal place over anytime you're solving for P. And then the last one, English, I was solving for the whole. How many total points was it out of? So I had to solve and get um, W by itself, and I got 55 total points. Okay. So um, here's one of each type for practice. Every time, please write down the equation first, then plug in the A, the P, or the W, whichever two you know, and then solve for what's missing. So pause and then we'll check. Okay, the first one I was solving for A. A is already by itself, so I just did this math and got 146. So 146 is 73% of 200. Or here's number two. Um, 36.4 is what percent of 40? I was looking for the percent. If I stopped here, I would mark that wrong. If you leave your percent as a decimal, to me that means 0.91%. If they ask for the percent, you need to convert this into 91% with a percent sign to be completely correct. And then my last one, um, I was looking for of what number? So I was looking for the W here, the whole, and I got 120. 18 is 15% of 120. So that is section 6-4 uh, on the percent equation.